Welcome back. In this video, we'll talk about metoclopramide. Metoclopramide, along with its brothers, prochlorpyrazine, phenothiazine, and benzamide, work by blocking dopamine 2 receptors. And of course, we have the receptors both peripherally and centrally. So the action works in the central nervous system along with the GI tract. The effect we see is a prokinetic and anti-emetic effects. So we will have increased gastric motility and increased gastric contraction. And there will also be an increase in the lower esophageal sphincter tone. So it promotes gastric emptying without affecting the colon transport time. And it also, of course, has a very strong anti-emetic effect. We mainly use it for cases where there is centrally induced nausea, like patients taking chemotherapy or patients suffering from migraines. And because of the gastric effects, it can also be used to treat gastroparesis, which we see in post-operative patients and diabetic patients. And because it increases the lower esophageal sphincter tone, it can be used to treat the gastric reflexes. All the side effects stem from the effect of blocking dopamine. So we see Parkinsonism, tardif dyskinesia, restlessness, drowsiness, fatigue, depression, and sometimes diarrhea. There are drug interaction with digoxin and anti-diabetic medications. It is contraindicated in small bowel obstruction in patients who already have Parkinsonism or epileptic patients. And here's a small quiz. Which of the following therapies is the ideal therapy for treating H. pylori? And here is the answer. Alright guys, thank you so much for watching and hopefully this helped.